Lewis, defeat this afternoon, third in four games. How do you sum up the performance today? Um, we thought we were good first half. Um, conditions weren't easy. Um, we knew obviously the wind coming down this way was going to favour both teams. And but that being said, I thought we played some decent stuff between the boxes in the first half. Numerous amounts of throw-ins, numerous amounts of corners, but um, didn't manage to get ourselves in front. And that's, then it's always going to be difficult second half, the same type of game. Um, but we, we couldn't keep a clean sheet and, and they got the goals and we didn't. And that's basically the sum total of the game, really. Moments of quality that they showed that we didn't. Like I say, it looked like we built on the second half from Walsall with mm -hmm. that positive first half. How much do we need to take one of those early you know, first half chances to, to sort of get that lead and put ourselves in that position? Well, it's everything in football, scoring goals, isn't it? It's not a case of just to, like today we wanted to do that. I, I, I get where you're coming from, but we, we, we have enough if not more balls in the box without knowing the statistics I would imagine than them today. Certainly I think our first half in terms of in terms of that, those statistics I, I would imagine would, be, would have been higher than theirs. But we've switched off three minutes into the second half, conceded a goal and unfortunately the conditions, pitches as, as we know through no and through nobody's fault it's difficult to play on. So the first goal becomes even even more bigger than it usually is. Um, and, and at the minute we're, we're struggling to to, to put those opportunities away that they come our way. Granted, there wasn't very many second half, there was, there was still a couple, and we haven't took them, and then we have done the second on the break. Well, I think it is after that positive first half that we, well, once we went behind, we sort of felt like we struggled to create a sort of moment of quality or, or the higher quality chances. Well, I think that's c conditions as well today, to be fair, because I thought they created nothing first half. So I, I don't think we can put that down to us being any worse than they were against the conditions. Um, but what they did is they stayed in the game in the first half. They found a way to stay in the game. We can say we missed opportunities, but they defended very well in both halves, and that's why they're walking away with the clean sheet and why not. Now, how frustrating is it? You mentioned we sort of give, it, give away a, a sort of quality chance and, and fell behind. So we've seen that in a couple of games recently. How, how frustrating, you know, from a coaching perspective, is it? That we're sort of, you know, kicking ourselves a little bit. Like yeah, it's, it's, of course it's frustrating, but we start 15th, 16th in League Two and listen, these, these lads will take a lot of credit for the position they've got themselves into this season and listen, we always want to be better and we always need to get better. Um, but th th this is the fine lines of playing in the level above, yeah. finding those moments of quality like we keep saying. But when your back's against the wall a little bit, we have to defend better than we did as well today. And Listen, we've we've won a lot of games by the odd goal this season as well, so it's not a case of everything just doesn't go our way, but it just shows the fine lines between winning and losing, especially on days like this in conditions like that. And finally, with sort of six or seven games left, what are you looking for from this side to sort of end the season on as positive and nervous as we can do? It, it, they have to finish as high as they possibly can, and, and, and that's what we'll be demanding for them every day. There's never a lack of energy, a lack of intensity, and in the wanting to do well. But like all of us, we always want to be better, and whatever, and whatever we're doing, you, you can never stand still, and especially in football. And the message to them as well is win as many games as you can, get as many points as you can. And I think they're all fully aware there's a there's a cup final looming around the corner, and I'm sure they'll all want to be in that team. So they've got to put themselves on the front foot when they get the shirt, stay in the team, and then get themselves in the team on that day as well. Okay, that's great. Thanks, appreciate your time. Cheers. Thanks.